Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Retro Select, a series of quick looks at retro games I feel like playing. Today's game is Frontline, which was actually requested by someone in the comments last week, so I thought I'd give it a go. This was a 1982 release from Taito, and one of the first top-down run-and-gun shooters, preceding Capcom's 1985 title Commando, and SNK's games Tank 3 and Ikari Warriors by several years. It was very successful in Japan on its initial release. It was supposedly the seventh highest grossing arcade machine in Japan in 1982. But it was less successful in Western markets where its originality was acknowledged but its difficulty was often criticised. The original arcade machine had a joystick for movement, a button for throwing grenades and a kind of rotary joystick slash button for firing in different directions. Um, and obviously that's something that SNK based their trademark loop lever uh, control scheme on for the games like Tank 3 and Ikari Warriors. So Frontline was ported to Atari 2600 and MSX in 1982. It came to ColecoVision, PC88 and Sharp X1 in 1983 and FM7 and Nintendo Famicom in 1985. We're playing the Arcade Archives version so this is the original arcade release from 1982. So let's go play Frontline. Okay, here we are with Frontline from Taito, as uh, as recreated in the Arcade Archive series by Hamster. Um, not a game I'm familiar with at all, actually. Um, I think I've briefly played it in the Taito Legends collection for PlayStation 2, um, but I remember not getting along with it very well in there for some reason. Um, but I'm perfectly willing to give it another go, particularly as there was a request for it in the comments. Um, so, let's jump into high score mode. Um, because this is how I like to play a lot of these older games in Arcade Archives. So I haven't set a score at all yet. So it's just uh, off we go, basically. So the way this works is, uh, as I say, it's a top-down run-and-gun shooter. Whoops. In which you play the little blue dude. And you shoot the little green dudes. Now, one of the distinctive features of this game is the fact that you can aim independently of the direction you're moving. Uh, in the original arcade version, you had this sort of twisty, twisty button, basically. Um, in this version, what you do is you use the right stick to aim and uh, the right trigger to fire or the left trigger to chuck a grenade. And you have an unlimited supply of both of those things. Uh, but I think... I believe you can't fire both at the same time. Oh dear. I'm sure that's a terrible score, but I may as well I may as well record it in the online rankings. Let's see how bad I really am. I'm 112th. I'm not the worst in the world. That's got to be pretty low down though. All right, let's play again. Now. I forget why I bounced off this um, in the Taito Legends compilation. It may, it may just have been because of the difficulty. Because, as you could probably see, it is very difficult. It's one of those games that... I say you can see. I'm, it feels like one of those games that maybe doesn't look like it's difficult, but it really, really is. So, like, it may not look like there's a ton going on on screen at once, but it's quite difficult to get around a lot of the obstacles and the enemies, particularly if you let them overwhelm you from both sides. But I guess that's always been a part of this kind of game. Oh no! It is tricky. But it's not impossible. It's not impossible, that's the key thing. Mm. 
I would like to give a shout out to the hilarious walk cycle animation though. What is going on with that animation? <laughs> it's like whoever whoever animated that had never seen a human being walking before. <laughs> It's like, I, I assume it's supposed to be walking and not crawling. No, it can't be crawling, can it? Because he faces the camera when you're when you're moving down the screen. So yeah, that that must be a walking animation. <coughs> He's like walking up the screen like Charlie Chaplin. Not what I expect from my serious war simulations. I'll have you know. Right, I believe we can get in that. How do we do that? Like this. <coughs> and the moment we get in a tank, millions of other tanks suddenly appear. That doesn't seem very fair, does it? Oh, this is fun, though. I like this. Uh-oh, get out. There's a button to get out, but I'm not 100% sure I know what it is. <laughs> right, where am I now? 40 second. Quite an improvement. Right, again. Ouch. Yeah, I'm actually quite liking this. <laughs> it's very peculiar. Just the whole presentation and feel of it is very distinctive and very different from the games it would go on to inspire. And just that sort of... That twin stick firing mechanic actually works really well. It feels like this is one of those games that probably works better with the modern control screen rather than the strange proprietary system that they developed for the original. I, I, I've never actually played a game with a twisty knob. Um, but it, it never sounds like it would be super intuitive. Apart from for sort of paddle based games like Breakout and Pong and that sort of thing. Like twisting a dial to aim thing sounds like. I don't know, maybe it would be intuitive. Like I say, I haven't tried it so I can't sort of comment. But twin stick shooting is so intuitive and natural to us these days. Just with, it, with how well established the genre has become in modern gaming or modern takes on classic formulae they're actually in a position where this this game arguably plays better than it did back in the day with the modern control scheme how'd you get out okay you just you just press the same button to get back in now how can i kill a tank no, I can be killed by a tank thing. Right, let's try again. Alright, I got this. Watch this. I think one thing worth remembering is that the enemies like you can only fire in eight directions as well. So there are certain positions you can put yourself in that are safe. And there's also a safe distance you can be at from them as well. So once you familiarise yourself with both of those things, so positioning yourself in safe spots around the enemies and at a safe distance, you'll probably find your sessions with this going a whole lot smoother. Oops!
making good use of the grenades as well. Is the the area effect on those is very useful. Ah, see, failing to find a safe spot. Come on, I want my tank. No, nope, I want death. Give me tank or give me death. They gave me death. All right, bring it. You don't scare me, you filthy green army. With your CGA turquoise helmets. Yeah, this is fun. This is a good game. I can understand why it would have been off-putting to some because of the difficulty back in the day, but at the same time, I don't think it's necessarily harder than other arcade games of the period. Because arcade games were never super easy, for obvious reasons. They wanted to get more money out of people. And particularly when you have a game that's based around a simple, repetitive structure. You want to make it difficult for people to be able to get through that, that whole in structure. So they don't get bored of it too quickly. Now I don't know how much this game varies from level to level. I'm suspecting probably not all that much. Give me the tank. Yes. Right, again, dealing with tanks is about range finding and safe spots and nimbly dodging out of the way as required. And also understanding your potential impact on the other things. So those big tanks you can shoot once to stop them from moving. And twice to um, to destroy them. Whereas the little tanks the little tanks only need a single shot from the tank to destroy. Uh, we are in a troublesome situation here. <laughs> Can we go back? You can go back. That's interesting. Games like this, you often can't go backwards. And yet here, we can. So we can head all the way back here, go and get our tank. And uh, grab it. Yeah, the more I play this game, the more I like it. Get out! Ah, death. Strange how I got a lower score there, despite getting further. Well, well. Right. Maybe I just shot fewer people. Yeah, definitely getting a feel for this now. It's got that early 80s arcade game feel that I really like, where each time you play, you can gradually feel yourself getting just a little bit better and progressing a little bit further and understanding the mechanics more and being able to take advantage of those mechanics more. And it's a really pleasing, enjoyable feeling. Uh, 
yeah, the, the tank combat in this has a really interesting sort of almost tactical feel to it. Right, if I go back, is that tank there again? There's a limit to how far back you can go. Oh god, run! Just run! <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. I'm in danger! Oh, help me! Oh, hello. Hello! So it's not impossible to kill tanks if you're if you're on foot, but just just very difficult. <laughs> ah, you need to hold on to that tank. It seems. All right, let's make an effort to do that. Cocky. I got cocky. Oh, this is going terribly. You know what? Just, just start again. Just start again. me be ouch let me through I'm breaking through I'm dying <laughs> I'm on the case. I'm on this. I'm not on this. I'm dead. Right, shoot the bastards from behind first. And keep on creeping forwards. Just keep moving. And forget my own advice. I'm wandering straight into unsafe spots. Right, take it easy. Carefully. There we go, that was a nice opening salvo. Right, watch for safe spots. Stay in the safe spots. Pay attention to range. Oh no! Oh dear, this is not going well. One thing I haven't quite determined yet is are the enemies respawning or are they in fixed locations? I think they respawn. Because I'm pretty sure if you just hang around in one place for ages, they just keep coming. But I could be wrong. Anyway, tank time. Right. Tactically. Actually, the big ones—the big ones—do eventually blow up if you just leave them on fire for a bit. Oh, 
Oh, that's near impossible to get through if you lose your tank. So you've, you've just got to hold on to it. Keep moving. Keep walking that bow-legged walk. And death. All right. Safe spots and range. Safe spots and range. That is what it's all about. No. Unsafe spot. <laughs> Right. It is tanking time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. I might have been wrong about the big tanks exploding eventually, if you just leave them. Ooh, there's a big tank there. Is there something I could have done with knowing about a little sooner? Get out! Run! Now give me the big tank. It's gone! That's not on. Did they blow up the big tank? They blew up the big tank. They blew up the big tank. Right. Just keep, just keep moving. <laughs> just keep away from the nasty big tanks. Grenade! No, wrong direction. Oh no, now there's three of them. This is really hard. <laughs> I think I'm having a good time, though. Oh, no. I'm not standing for that. Not standing for that. Right. There we go. Lovely. times I'm finding it easy to forget that you actually can shoot in a different direction to what you're moving I think that is where some of my struggles are coming from because I'm trying to I end up running towards an enemy that I should be running away from while still shooting at them Oh no. Right, I got this. Yeah, you better run. Let's see if I can get that big tank before it disappears this time. There it is. Give it to me.
Yes! The power! Oh no! Damn. Well, it was fun while it lasted. So I haven't managed to match my old score though. We're getting further though. Oh god! <laughs> wow. Jeez. Okay. I, I feel like the scoring problem I'm having here could perhaps be alleviated by um, your scoring your score increasing according to your level progress because as it stands if you if you want high scores you might as well just sort of stand around and shoot a bunch of enemies although i'm going to go ahead and assume that if you do actually manage to clear a level in this there will be some sort of large bonus It'd be nice to achieve that large bonus, but the rate we're going, I'm not sure that's going to happen. But, uh... Oh, no! It starts again. Starts again. Oh, you penis. <sighs> I'm very much on the case. No, I am not. <laughs> I'm going to stop resetting. I've got to stop doing that. That is against the spirit of what we're doing here. From now on, whatever happens, happens. Right, just keep going. Just keep going. Safe spots and do distance. Safe spots and range. Move, move, move. I want to finish the level. I feel like that is not going to happen. But we'll have a few more guys. We'll have just a, a few more guys just to see just to see if we can make it.
Does this game occupies that curiously frustrating thing where it doesn't... It doesn't look or feel like it should be difficult, and yet it is. And yet, at the same time, I feel like part of part of the problem is probably me just overthinking things. All right, just concentrate on the ones that matter. The ones who are actually in the way. And don't get too hung up on ones who are just in pursuit or can be easily outrun. Right, tank. No tank. <laughs> right, give me the big tank. Give me the big tank. There we go. There's the big tank. Right. I lost the big tank already. It's not fair. Dickhead. <laughs> it's too hard. It's too hard. <laughs> right. Eyes forward. Cut the ones that matter and run. Like a sex machine man, you know? All right, tank! I tank your face off. And I run away and get a better tank. Don't panic. Don't try and rush. Don't panic. That's panicking. Okay. 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 Tank is not destroyed. Somehow. Now tank is destroyed. <laughs> right, but there are more tanks up here. So if I can just... If I can just... <laughs> if I can just... Yes! Right. Come on then. Right, there's more tanks. There was one over here, wasn't there? Maybe. I don't know. No, there wasn't. Okay. That's fine. Uh, still got loads of lives, somehow. Now I do not have loads of lives. But, well. Things could be worse. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, big tank. Destroy little tank. Get out of little tank. Get into big tank. Big tank, blow things up. Big tank, blow things up real good. I still haven't matched my high score. How is that even possible? And now my little tank's gone.
Leave me alone! I'm just... I'm just one man. What damage can I possibly do? What threat can I possibly serve? You really should stop just leaving these lying around. Because it's just asking for someone. I beat my high score! It's just asking for someone to just pop in and just steal it. Nope. I think Big Tank has longer range than Little Tank. Alright, alright, come on. Let's get over here. Over here. Good. Good. Come on. More tank. Little tank. Float. No! No! Curses. Now I have no tank. Uh. Tank? Little tank. Better than no tank. Little tank is speedy. Which is something. Oh god, what is that? I finished the level! I finished the level! You do get bonus points. Not very many though. Oh well, it's a thousand. I'll take it. Actually, a thousand is quite a lot of points in this game. Alright, level two. You can tell it's different because the colour's different. Alright, we rocking it now. Although this is my last life, which can't... I can't help but feel a little bit anxious about... Maybe we get an extra life at 10,000 points. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be very nice indeed. Oh, you know what? I think we get, we're getting double points for it being level 2. I approve of this. And yes, we do get an extra life at 10,000 points. I approve of all of these things. Okay, forget what I said about the scoring system earlier. It's fine. <laughs> it is 100% fine. Uh, oh no! I assume this level is going to be structured like the first one where there's like a well doesn't matter <laughs> doesn't matter what I was going to say is I'm going to assume that, that it will be structured like the first level where there'd be an infantry bit and then a um, a tank bit I'm now 15th best in the world at Frontline on Nintendo Switch I'm happy with that top 15 just um, yeah I'm happy with that because, like, you could probably... I bet if you... I don't know. Can we scroll down this? Yes. If you scroll down, I bet you can probably see a noticeable jump at some point. Actually, maybe not. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'm happy with my position there. And I've got to play this some more. This is a fun game. This is a fun game. Like I said, I'd written it off before for some reason. Maybe the control scheme in the uh, Taito Legends version wasn't... Um, wasn't very good or something i don't know i forget maybe there was just other stuff i wanted to play on there i tend to boot up taito legends when i'm in the mood to play poochie carrot which is an amazing game um but anyway anyway yes that was frontline by taito originally released for arcades in 1982 and now available on various platforms as part of the arcade archive series as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again next time